with it, it does help Delirium quite a bit. But, yeah, I thought Creature. Um, okay, here's the next question. Is this more or less playable than Runaway Carriage? Hmm. Uh, I mean, I think typically <laughs> less playable. The I think is, typically less playable, some but when it games, is, it's so much better. Some right? magic games, you get like stuck on two lands, and like you can't cast stuff, and you, you know... But you can cast this. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> you can cast this, and then you cast Eustace Strict to discard it's just your like, entire hand. You're playing a card for like a very specific game state, uh... <laughs> in which case it's going to be decent and like is the fact that you paid two mana for it really gonna matter when you no, emptied your won't. hand or like would you rather just have a five like a six mana five five or something right yeah exactly i think that's kind of the problem is that is the problem with this card like so the, i'm gonna give it an f plus good, build around two mana <laughs> you know didn't matter too much yeah and then you yeah, do have is... to keep like emptying your hand and like it, it can't block because your opponent just holds yeah. card and when they this attack. is johnny fodder for constructed probably Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, th I think it's shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Slayer's Cleaver. So mm -hmm. they're they're this is the <laughs> this is what the uh, callback uh, callback yep. to Butcher's, Butcher's Cleaver. Cleaver. Yeah, but this is not as broken. No, uh, three mana for an equipment uh, with equipped creature gets plus plus one and must be blocked by Eldrazi Fable. Equipped four, nope, garbage bin. Yep, this is yep. Life that's not lifelink. <laughs> no, if it was lifelink, that'd probably be playable. Yes, yeah. it must be blocked by an Eldrazi Fable. That, that that's gotta be on like the weaker end of creature abilities <laughs> ever made. <laughs> yes, that's such a weird text. <laughs> they they just like threw it at the dartboard and protection like protection from you know, planeswalkers. It, it could have been first strike. It could have been yeah. double strike, life link, death touch. Whatever you know. I think they wanted like, to to. This is the apology for Butcher Cleaver. That's yeah. what this is. This is this is uh, Watsi saying, "Yeah, we're we're sorry for those games that involved Butcher's Cleaver and that other unmentionable hex for block creature." Oh well, I'm missing a song about uh, Lone Stalker or something. Invisible Lone? Stalker, the, the 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 white creature, the one oh. one life link first strike. Uh, Lone oh. Rider. Lone Rider, yeah, that's the Invisible Stalker. That's Maybe fine. that's the combo with this. I don't know. Yeah, that that combo is a flip. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's but the that's new, uh, so queen. but that's so much more restrictive though. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Cast it turn two. Play the sl slayers. Come on, three. man! I want to play unfair three. games of limited, not fair games of limited. Yeah, the, the curve out is like it's right there in front of you. Two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. That's the instructions. Yep. All right, mm -hmm. Soul Separator, my favorite card in the set, but probably not the most playable card in the set. Anyways, uh, three mana for an artifact. With an ability that costs five, so the bar is already pretty damn high on this. And then it says, sacrifice it, exile target card from your graveyard, put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of that card, except it's 1 1. It's a spirit, and it has flying. But we're not done, because you also get to put a black zombie creature token onto the battlefield with power equal to that card's power and toughness. Or, yeah, power power and toughness equal to that card's toughness. No, wait. Power equal oh, to power, power to power, power toughness. Toughness. I was like, wait a second. What? What? Oh no, never mind. Okay. You get a vanilla version of the creature and a non. Yeah, you get the version. vanilla creature and the the spooky ghost. Yeah. So spooky. All right, we need some LRR spoop in here if you if you have those emotes. Um, thank you, Everdasher. That is one of my favorite emotes, but I am not subbed to them. Uh, fuck. I don't know what to say. If you have tree prediction, this gets better. Uh, <laughs> For what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. not that the you... also stalls <laughs> that's true i mean they do see look they even curve out into each other you play this on turn three you play tree of perdition turn four they remove it on turn four and then you you know you win uh, the game so, right so so b plus definitely <laughs> right, i think we're agreed i don't know i think this is an f but yeah it's... Uh, just don't play this i mean like it it can be powerful like yeah, maybe like get, getting a copy of a creature with a cone of playability, <laughs> and then you get like a random large creature. Like that's okay. Yeah, yeah. chat. Chat is it's very just, excited about this card. Um, just... For eight minutes, a two for one, <laughs> and it's only as good as the best card in your graveyard. So it, yeah. yeah, you yeah, can't even target like, your opponent's graveyard, setup. which is like not cool. It's just I want to target it's not any do graveyard. anything, and sometimes it's, you're just gonna have like a weak creature in the graveyard. Yeah. And... The spirit does get the creature's ability. Not worth yeah. eight mana. So yeah, I mean, it's it's as close as, to an F as you can get. Like I just give D minus. I mean, yeah. I, I gave it an F plus build around because that's the most yeah. insulting rating I can give. 
Okay. All right, Stitcher's Graph, one mana for... We're doing a lot of these artifact equipment. This one has good stuff, though, but a downside. So one mana for equipment where you equip it for two, and it gives a creature plus three, plus three. Already, if that were the just... Better than Machete. It, it would be That's one of the best fun. equipments ever printed, right? For limited. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then it says, whenever equipped creature attacks, it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. And still, still love it. Still love it. Still love it. Still and love it. though, <laughs> when it becomes unattached from a permanent, sacrifice that permanent. I'm still trying to love it. I'm still I I, love I it. think it's still playable. You know. Yep. I think it's still good. Like it's if so you cheap. have a like so it makes a one one flyer. Well, I guess it makes a one one flyer basically a two two flyer. Right. <laughs> if we're thinking clocks, but I mean it makes a one one flyer. Able to well actually you know think about this defensively. Right. Yeah, you can block with it. No you can why. block with it with no problem. Right. Um, but yeah. you can, you can if also you do ever move it though, the creature will die. Right, right. right but right. it does give you like a great blocker. You put yes. it on some random craft creature. It's a great blocker, and eventually you emerge right. it. And you're yeah. Good. So I mean, frankly, I don't think this is that bad. Like if I had, let's suppose I had an enchantment, and it said, you know, this enchantment costs, let's say, two mana for sake, because you know you'll be casting this on turn one, and then you know, equipping mm -hmm. later. But like, let's say, let's say the enchantment costs two mana. And it was plus three, plus three. I'd pr I'd be very tempted to play that already. And then if it said, it, when this goes to the graveyard, you know, you could put it back to your hand. Holy shit. That would be absurd. That'd be better than Ranker, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this isn't quite that good because, you know, you can't get super ag aggro with this. Um, but, like, this is like strong. Like mentioning, Vigilance is really relevant with this Yeah, ability. also Vigilance, yeah. So, you know, oh, you know what? That's oh. what that 3-2 Vigilance guy's for. Yes. Yeah. We did yes. it. We did it. All right, let's, let's up the grade on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was too low with my C-. minus. Mm. Well, I mean, I, I think this card is actually like a B-. minus. I'm going to go high on this. I think I this give is it, very strong. I give it a strong. B- minus too. Yeah, I think this is strong. Yeah, I think it's, um, uh, it's very good. People are going to underrate this because they see Sacrifice that permanent and be like, oh, okay, this can't be playable. But they don't actually think about how powerful plus three, plus three is. Yeah, it's, just, um, it's cheap. Yep. It's funny because this gets worse the bigger the creature you put this on. Yeah. Right. So try not to put this on your giant creatures and you'll be fine. Yeah, uh, uh, and also you can, like, you can equip it to a creature attack and then next turn when it's tapped, just equip it to another creature attack. The next turn, equip to another creature attack. Yeah, Th like, that, that could work mm -hmm. if you have a bunch of random creatures out. Like That puts good pressure on your opponent. So that's another yeah. thing you could do with it to be more aggressive with it. Right. And it's perfectly reasonable that, like, you, 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 like it, even though it does as much damage as a 2-2 flyer, like, it can attack through where a 2-2 flyer can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And th yep. that's pretty relevant, too. Yep. Oh, man. I'm excited to play that card. Because I, I can't wait for my opponent to say, oh, what, that unplayable garbage? And then <laughs> then they sl it slowly sinks in that they're never going to win the game. Uh, yeah, slowly, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> As your creature's way too untapped. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It turns everything into Meandering Tower Shell. Um, anyways, Terrarian. Which I liked. I which like I did Terrarian. like, yeah. W one mana for an artifact that, okay, everyone knows Terrarian, right? Yes. Uh, but anyways, it's a reprint from God knows when. Uh, some modern legal set, but I forget which one. Shit, I don't know. But it enters battlefield tap. You pay two to tap it. You sack it, and you add two mana in any combo. Colors to your mana pool. This gets better the more Tamios you have in your deck. Uh, and when it is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card. Yeah, it double fixes. So that's it it cool. fixes, and it's very minimal cost. I like this. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're gonna want to pick it super high, but you know, also this Delirium gets killer. Back to the, in yeah, the graveyard. it's also yep. true. You know, they did a really good job with this reprint. I like it. Yeah. One mana um, free cycle, it's very, very Yeah. So, I don't know, what do we call it? Like a C? I have a C. It's, it's playable, like, yeah, you're going to pick this reasonably. Yeah, you're not going to play it in every deck, because you no. just, like, Sometimes you, don't you just it. don't need Sometimes it. Sometimes you're going to draw yeah. it mid-game, and it's going to take a turn to get you the mana. Right. The fact that it enters the battlefield tapped is why you don't want to play it in every deck. Right. But, yeah. All right, last equipment. Thirsting X, three mana for an equipment that costs two to equip so that's like reasonable if the effect's very good um the equipped creature gets plus four plus O. Oh, and at the beginning of your end step if equipped creature didn't deal combat damage to a creature sack it 
weird. Um, so my first instinct is that I want to put this on 1-1 one, one flyers and turn them into little mini lava X's. Yeah, yes. that can work. Um, my second instinct is that this allows your creatures to trade up in a big way. But oh wait, no, they don't really with your it? opponent's face or uh, with a if, or with a one one. Yeah, but yeah, <sighs> it's not easy. This yeah, because you you can't uh, you can't equip this and then pass the turn because then no, you, have, no, you have a bad time. No, you have unless, to attack unless you want the creature to die for whatever reason. But sure. there's not a Is lot of cool? that in this set. Um, damn, this is the worst sack outlet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, nah, you, if you not, want it as a sack yeah, outlet e e EOT sack yeah, yeah not, really not what we want. it is a way to just throw creatures at your opponent oh store. hey good guess what this is another card that gets way better with uh, what's that card Bloodbriar <laughs> no because it just dies because it just doesn't block no 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 you don't equip it to Bloodbriar oh sorry yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you equip it to something else sure. um, okay <laughs> what else can this do if you equip it to Emrakul you deal your opponent 17 damage yeah, that's, that's pretty that's good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting loopy. Uh, I'm tired uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is, a, this is a hard card to evaluate. Um, I don't even know. Uh, I kind of want to give another question mark, question mark, question mark rating, rating for this because, like, I think this might be a little better in flyers, but I don't know what else to say about it. W what are we here for? If we're just gonna question mark, question mark, so this is, we're, we have to come. <laughs> yes, up with the chat answer. demands more. We, yeah, you know, you, you gotta more. put your foot down. And yeah, say, it's true. Like, are you playing this card? Am I playing this card? I am going to attempt to play this card, and we're going to see what happens. I think I want to call this like an F plus or a D minus. Because this is probably, like, I can see this being pretty good. It's a, it's a good read. In some right? ways. Yeah, it, like, it, it. okay, you know what? This belongs in an aggressive deck. Like a white red aggro deck that no doesn't shit. I mean, does yeah, but doesn't care about well. <laughs> this is not your control card. This. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this is like super. Sorry, slow I'm like ID really deck. tired and hungry right now, <laughs> so I'm like stating the obvious a little bit. But I think if you put this in a red white deck or a white blue deck or a white green deck, you're gonna actually get some decent value out of it, as long as your deck is very creature dense. Like if you're playing a deck with 13 creatures, you don't want to play this ever. Right. Yeah, that's true. You need to be if you have 16, you 17 creatures and not, yeah, and the less removal you have, the better this gets. Yeah, this is, like this is like your one. You have yeah, you have 20 creatures, three thirsting axes, and lands. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that would be that's a good the deck, thing honestly. that you want. Yeah. So I think if your creature count is really high and your removal count is like kind of low, or you know whatever, like honestly, the removal doesn't matter that much. I'm just saying, like you know, this is a good way to make your creatures trade up always. So, yeah, I, I think this is fine. Let's give this a, I don't know. What should we give it? Uh, it's hard to grade. C minus. D plus. Yeah, let's give it, yeah. Kind of. Like, I, I'm probably not running the card unless if I'm in a very specific deck, I'm just like, have a lot of like 1-1 one -one flyers and. But good unless you really need to be a very creature. Yes. I don't know because you just you're playing this over another card, and I, I mean it, it does some cool things. So yeah, it does. Maybe it won't be. The, maybe what it would be the card you want, but yeah, it can also really suck. Yeah. All right. Yep. So there's three more cards in the set for us to evaluate. Lands. Lands. Oh wait, and meld flip cards, I guess. But whatever. You're never gonna see those unlimited. <laughs> yeah. Aside Did you do cards. like the regular versions already? What was that? Did you do the regular versions? Yeah, we oh. did. Like the black. Well, the not the feet. not the land that's coming up, but uh, okay. Anyways, Gyre Reach Sanitarium, legendary land. Tap to add colorless to your mana pool, and you can pay two. Each player draws a card, then discards a card. This is hard to evaluate. Um, this seems more like a constructed card to me. Yeah. Um. When you like the thing is like they're gonna if your opponent just has mana cards lying around and you activate this, it's just gonna be so awkward. Yes. Yeah. Well, the the, what? the oh, problem man. the Jeez. problem with this effect is that even though it's symmetrical, you're paying two. So it's not three really, because you're tapping the land. So yeah. it's not really symmetrical. Um And you're like, playing color you're playing colorless land in your deck, which is right. pretty rough. I could I, see like if you're in a straight two color deck and you have an empty slot, playing this is probably fine. Hmm. You know? Because sometimes you'll want it. Especially if you have some madness, you know? 
I I think just with a madness is where Prob- I would yeah probably see if, it. yeah I, I think like playing colorless land is like pretty punishing can be and like to be able to have both people loot I feel like you need to be taking advantage of that. Mm-hmm. I, 